welcome to this tutorial we are going to take on probability so the our first problem a fair die numbered one two three four five six is thrown at once find the probability of obtaining a a prime b a multiple of three c a six or an odd so our sample space here is one to six that's s set s is one to six and the n of s is six so we start with the first problem our event space here that is e1 with the set of all the prime numbers from the sample space so we have a two three and five and our n of one is three three so the probability of getting a prime number is n of e1 over n of s that's giving us 3 over 6 in the simplest form we have it as 1 over 2 b um, a multiple of 3 so we shall represent the collection of multiples of 3 in the sample space as a e2 that's our second event space that set of three and six so and our n of e2 is two so probability of getting multiple of three is going to give us a n of e2 over n of s which is two over six and that, that will give us one over three and uh, for C, we represent the event space of getting a 6 as E3, which is just 6, a single thing. And uh, the event of getting odd numbers shall be represented as E4. And uh, here, N of E3 is 1. So we now have E4, that's collection of all the odd numbers in the sample space so we have one three and uh, five and n of e4 is three so the probability of getting a six or an odd is n of e3 over n of s plus since we have or or is addition so n of e4 over n of s that's giving us 1 over 6 plus 3 over 6 and that will give us a uh, since the denominators are equal so we just add the numerator 4 over 6 and that finally gives 2 over 3 and the second problem a group of medical personnel comprises of three nurses and five doctors three personnel are to be selected at random for a workshop what is the probability of selecting all nurses all doctors two nurses and one doctor now our n of nurses that's the number of all the nurses there we have them to be three and the number of all doctors five and the total which is n of s there are eight and in this problem there's what we call without replacement this is a natural occurrence this is natural occurrence of probability without replacement since if the first person is selected and the number of the people remaining will be reduced by one the second person selected the number continues to reduce as the selections are being made now the probability of getting all of them nurses that's three the three personnel nurses um, we take first we are not just picking hey 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 come here no we pick them one after the other hey nurse this come out nurse this come out nurse this come out so 
we pick the first person the probability of picking the first nurse is going to be 3 over 8 so we have 3 over 8 and and is multiplication since we have picked the first nurse we now have the total number of nurse to be 2 and the sample space has reduced to 7 so the probability of picking the second person to be nurse again is going to be 2 over 7 and uh, which is multiplication the probability of picking the third person to be nurse we now have only one nurse and what S six personnel so we have it as one over six so simplifying three goes here one three goes here three into six gives two and these two cancel these two i have one times one here giving us one eight times seven gives 56 so the probability of getting or selecting all of them nurses is 1 over 56 so the probability of selecting all of them doctors and in the same vein the probability of getting the first person to be doctor will be 5 over 8 and multiplication the probability of selecting the second person since this doctor has been reduced by one so we have four over seven and the probability of selecting the third person to be doctor the doctor has reduced by two now we're now left with three out of the remaining six so we have it as what three over six so simplifying four here to four here one 3 here 1 and 3 here 2 5 times 1 gives 5 and uh, 2 times 2 4 times 7 gives 28 so the probability of selecting all of them doctors 5 over 28 now the probability of getting two nurses and one doctor is going to be we are going to have a uh, different possibilities because of the arrangement and the selection so we have the first one nurse nurse doctor that's first person nurse second person nurse and the third person doctor or the first person nurse the second person doctor and the third person nurse or the first person doctor second nurse second nurse so um, since in the end it is the numerators will just be interchanging the denominator will all be the same also be in the same so we can just pick one find the probability of n and d then multiply by three since this is addition this plus this plus this is as good as one multiply by three so we have it as three times probability of nurse nurse doctor so we go this is 3 over 1 times the probability of the first person going to be doc nurse we have it here first person nurse is 3 over 8 and the probability of second person nurse times 2 over 7 and now the probability that the the probability of the third person going to be doctor now is going to be five because we have the five the doctors are still intact so we have reduced the nurses by two as the first nurse that's remaining two the second nurse remaining one and but the number of doctors are still intact so we have five over the total number of six since we have five here and we are left with one after selecting the first and the second person to be nurses so we have five over six and uh, simplifying we have three goes here one three goes here two these two goes with these two and i'm left with three times five that's 15 8 times 7 
56. So the probability of selecting two nurses and one doctor is 15 over 56. That's the end of the second problem. And our third problem, the probability that a patient survives a particular disease when injected with a newly discovered drug is 0 0.8. Find the probability that exactly 7 out of 10 patients survive on being ejected with the new drugs. And here we are going to use a binomial probability distribution method. Because the number involved is too large. Number involved is too large. So the binomial probability distribution, the probability of x is equal to r is n combination r p raised to power r, q raised to power n minus r. We are going to define every element in the probability formula. The total outcome here is 10, so n is equal to 10. The required outcome, since it is exactly 7, so we have it r is equal to 7. Our p, that is probability of success, so our probability of success here is 0 0.8, which is 4 over 5 in fraction. And uh, the probability of failure, that is Q, is 1 minus 4 over 5, which is going to give us 1 over 5. That's probability of success, it's probability of failure. Success here is the patient who survived the particular disease. Failure is the probability of the patient will not be surviving. So 0 0.8, 0 0.2. Now we substitute this into this formula. So probability of x is equal to 7. x is equal to 7 is 10 combination 7. Multiply by 4 over 5 to the power of 7. R is 7 times 1 over 5 to the power of 10 minus 7 that's 3 so and uh, 10 combination 7 is 120 you can get that one from your calculator here 4 over 5 that's 0 0.8 to the power of 7 we have it as 0 0.209715 and 1 over 5 to the power of 3, that's 0 0.2 to the power of 3, gives 0 0.008. So we can now simplify all this. We have our answer as 0 0.201326. So that is the end of the third problem for now. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel at Oninabi Resources for more videos. You can also like our page on Facebook, Oninab Resources. For requests and inquiry, oninabresources at gmail.com. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.